What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. So as you can see, Chantal is not going to be going live tonight. And I think that has a lot to do with this meal. We'll talk about that in a moment. I often, though, make it a point to show your comments at the end of the video. So I want to start this video with a comment from her channel. And I think if we look at that, we understand we're transitioning to a Hamio, but of course we're also transitioning to this message. Chantal, I don't think you fully understand what it means to try because you actually have to put effort into ordering this. And as we go through this, I think it's going to become very noticeable that this is a meal Chantal does not enjoy. I don't think anyone would blame her if she said, you know what? This, this doesn't taste good, this isn't satisfying me, and although I hate to be wasteful, uh, I'm going to put my health first and I'm not going to finish this meal. But let's also understand, before we get to that point, she shows the cats, which they were feeding in the live stream, they're now living in front of the apartment. And I understand some people are going to think, oh, this is great, Chantal fed these stray cats. Understand, not everyone is going to feed these stray cats. They are now inhabiting the apartment complex, and we're pretty much to believe that Chantal and Sala are going to be traveling soon, if not traveling now, and her whole sorry, I'm going to sleep the night away, isn't just a ruse for them already having started to travel. But the real reason she's here, Burger King. And I just want you to think about these flavor combinations. Orange juice. Cappuccino. I want you to ask yourself, have you ever went to a drive-thru and been given a legitimate trash bag full of food? Because that's what they hand her. There's no word of sharing with Sala or saving this. This is chicken fries, a breakfast croissant, hash browns, and of course, like every video, she says she's tired and that her sleep pattern is weird. The water makes her sleepy. She has sauces to go with everything. Ketchup, barbecue sauce. I can't imagine having a piece of fried chicken dipped in barbecue sauce and then instantly following that with orange juice and then instantly following that with cappuccino. That sounds like it is just one of the worst flavor combinations. She says the sausage tastes like a hamburger. And again, you can tell by the mannerisms, the lack of moaning, the lack of groaning, the lack of eye rolls. She doesn't enjoy this food. And it's odd that she starts by saying, you know, she hates egg to all of a sudden she craves it. And I can't ever think of a time that I've really craved a food that I hate. And let's also just be very clear. The disappointment in this video stems from this being a reward. This was a reward for physical activity. Her going swimming was justified in her mind by there's Burger King on the other side of this. She transitions into imagining that if Burger King had the Nashi there, how much better things would be. She complains that the sandwich has no sauce, so she has to use ketchup. She says she wants to swim in the ocean, but she's tired. And then she starts to go on about her favorite meals, eating food that you're not pleased with, talking about food that you wish you had. If you can't see the connection of why this is bad, then you probably don't understand the reality of Chantal. You also have to understand that this is her not liking a meal that likely constitutes a full day of eating for most people. By all accounts, this meal is over 2000 calories. And I'm not going to sit here and say that you can't indulge and enjoy a meal of that size. But what I will say is if you're going to, you better enjoy it. You better be satisfied when it's done. And it better be foods that you love. You know, I used to work at a place that had a cafeteria inside, you know, where you would go down on your lunch break. And, and essentially there were, I don't want to call them chefs, but, but there were people there that would cook you a lunch or a meal and they would have specials albeit they weren't all that great. It was still better than maybe what you would get for takeout. And I distinctly remember an argument at the workplace one day because there was a woman that was so angry that 
the meal didn't meet whatever specification it was. And I remember her screaming that if she was going to waste her calories, if she was going to waste her time on that type of food, that it better taste good. Now, I'm not advocating for you to just start flying off the handle and screaming, but I am saying that to that point, there's a lot of people that will allow themselves to carefully indulge, that will allow themselves to plan out a reward and create, let's call it a healthy boundary and respect. All right, I'm going to go do this, and in return, I'm going to have this. Or I've got myself X amount of calories for the day, and I'm going to be mindful throughout the day because I'm going to have a surplus of calories at the end of the day because I ultimately want this. These are all decisions that I think most of us make more than likely without any thought. We just plan our day mindlessly to eat. Chantal plans her day around food with conviction and understanding of what she's going to eat. But in this video, we see, because as everything is done in 13 minutes, there's a bonus sandwich waiting. And if you go watch this video, you don't even really have to watch it. Just look at the facial expressions because she takes a single bite from the bonus sandwich and says that it's better than anything else she'd had. And you can tell that she enjoys it. And while talking about this, she goes on about wanting to know viewers' coffee habits. And if she was wealthy, she wouldn't buy a mansion. She wouldn't buy a yacht. She would get a nice coffee each day. And this goes hand in hand with the discussion she had driving back from walking the other day where we learned, you know, about 30 feet maximum right now, where they got the cappuccino or they got the iced coffee. It was so expensive. And then she actually mocked, you know, what if it was, you know, once a month? What if it was once a day? What if it was once a week? And she calculated in her head that it would be around $300. And she thought about how wasteful that was. But now she's justifying it in the context of a video. She finishes this, not only the video, but the bonus sandwich. By reiterating the swimming made her so hungry and tired. And I think this goes back to like we just spoke about. She needed that reward. And she had mentioned whether it was this stream or not, she'd also mentioned going to Burger King. So I think these are all things, as I just spoke about, she willfully plans. Now, I'm going to end this video by saying, Chantal, if you have been seeing your doctor, I would hope that you're telling them about this. The fact that you are constantly tired, that even the slightest bit of physical activity has you exhausted because what I would be most concerned with is we know that you're on insulin. We know that your body has issues regulating sugar. We know that you're eating a large amount of processed foods, junk foods, foods that are going to have a lot of sugar. Your body can't properly convert that into energy. And after eating, you're just exhausted. In this video, she almost was too tired to finish filming. That, to me, is just another sign that her health is spiraling out of control. And I would really be concerned about her ability to travel short distances, much less long ones. But apparently, that very well may be what she's doing right now. I, though, will end this video not with a comment from Chantal's page, but the top comments from the last video. You know I appreciate you watching this, and we'll be back as soon as I can with more commentary. This is the ugliest woman in girl world. Are you going to be offended? Your punishment is embarrassment and shame.